Okay, so acquiring certain parts unlocks additional items at parts of the factory. Building skill trees in the skill tree, like part of a helping hand for the factory. Done. Oh. oh, I can use tech points to level up system nine nine. Okay, that's a new mechanic. That's a really new mechanic. Interesting. All right. This? What is it, Nine? Well, search a lot about this world's technology while I was searching for you. Maybe we'll be able to craft some useful weapons if we combine it with excellent technology from our world. That's fantastic. Quick, show me what you've made. That will cost you. What? You're going to take money from me? No, it requires something more important. It requires everyone's expertise. Oh? I can develop parts I've gotten, rather, information to everyone is, rather information everyone has gathered from combat. In addition to being able to put in the data to good use, I'll be able to expand my tech abilities and offer tactical support to the entire unit. In other words, if we collect combat data for you, you'll be able to use that to create useful things for the unit. Correct. That's really amazing, Nine. I am amazing, after all. Really, I can't... I can't... I, I, can't, I can't talk this way. I really can't argue with that. <laughs> Alright then, I'll start getting that data together. That alone won't be enough. What else do you want? I need to know more about the people themselves. I can't go on combat data alone. People themselves, huh? I need me to talk to some seasoned veterans, is that it? Seasoned veterans. What kind of people would they be, specifically? Well, for instance, a pilot. At least for the sake of argument, I am. In which case, a seasoned veteran would be an ace pilot, I guess. Ace pilot? What does that mean? A pilot with 60 confirmed kills. I'll tell Captain Marie to send any ace pilots she has to talk to you. Does that sound like a plan? Roger. No, this isn't an order. The only one word to say at a time like this. That is, when someone does something for you, just say thank you. Understood. Thank you for teaching me just valuable information. That's it. Okay, Nine, let's see where this leads. Yes, sis. Okay, so, these also cost tech points. Oh boy, so I'm using tech points to buy gear. And you unlock it by achieving certain mission objectives. So, let's get this one required in chapter 11. Alright, so some of this is based on completing objectives. Running up certain characters. Certain thresholds. Dealing a certain amount of damage. Buying parts here at the factory. Leveling up certain things, buying emblems. The training pilots to A status. And I can sell extraneous equipment if I so choose or tactical points. Sadly, what I can't do is turn cash money into tech points. You really need more juke, more energy. Since you have at least couple major attacks that are based around 
energy usage, so boosting that is a big deal. That's part of the reason why, and Severuda is probably an energy boost later as well. All right. Let's save my game. I can look at my pilots real quick to see who's... Okay, so score, I am assuming, is how close you are to getting the, the ace threshold stuff. Phase, play the blue phase, bunch of fools, or try the Japanese baka baka. So now, now spending tack points becomes a little trickier because some of these tack point skills, like costing more money. Okay, so I think what happens is actually the proud ace skill that comes up if you are lower level, or, or the, the, that lowers the threshold to become an ace, I guess. rank in space, so that's fine. So snare your chart. To kind of show where we are right now is the past few missions in a separate branch specifically dedicated to open retreat message collection? I haven't gamed over. I haven't had a game over yet, so. All right. So that. We have electron ferry. Okay, I was in three spaces, gained three close quarters battle, a whole bunch of skill boosts. And then this one... Go to Japan. There's core space... No use. I can't find any info on the Yamato anywhere in the world. Nothing even remotely related. Hmm. If, Hana if Hamada, Harry, and Omoikane can't find it, it probably doesn't exist. Sorry about that. Omoikane is the AI of the Nandesco. Nine said she intercepted a military transmission. If she's right about that, we haven't found anything yet. We won't anytime soon either. Hmm. What's that look for, Harry? 
You're still in school, aren't you, Hamada? Yeah, my first year of high school, just like Maito. Unbelievable, you have data analysis skills beyond your years. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that from a genius like you. That's Hamada for you. you see why I'm proud to call him my friend. If being a crack data analyst, data analyst wasn't enough, he went ahead and designed the robots for the entire Brave Express Corps. I'm absolutely stunned. That's why I like hanging out with Mido. Every day there's something out of the ordinary. Brave Express Corps has all sorts, doesn't it? Indeed, people like Hamada, Asaka, Aoki, and Izumi. But they're not the only ones who hope for peace, and that's why they're lending me their help. I need to watch more of the Brave series. All I've seen right now is uh, King of Braves, Gao Gaigar. Not to mention Mom and Dad. Something wrong, Maito? No, I'm fine. Harry, would you mind showing me the encrypted data you received during the last battle? I could help you with the decryption. Ah, thanks, Amada. Is Captain Ruri busy? Yes. I've been studying the terrorist movements in an attempt to predict them. I need to report the results to my superiors. Have you figured out why they targeted that base? It didn't have a large armory or anything, but it was tactically important. How so? It was a support facility for the Isago plan. The Yoko Squad, the Lion Sickle, was training there. They were scheduled to launch the space and bolster the terminal colony's defenses next week. The Sago plan, eh? That's what they're planning calling a plan to build a bosun gem network inside the solar system. The terrorists wanted to disrupt the Sago plan. That's not the real problem, though. We need to figure out what they'll do next and how we can stop it. Captain Brewery said the same thing. We need to deliver a crippling blow, and soon. If this turns to a big war, the civilization of everyday life could be catastrophic. I've got to protect the people, like the woman I saved yesterday. People who are just trying to live their lives. Yo, newbie! Sorry, you are? Ah, yeah. I didn't really introduce myself. Yoko Subaru, at your service. Up until yesterday, I was stationed at the Federation's third base in the Far East. Now I'm part of Nandisco. Doesn't that make you the newbie, then? Nice try. When it comes to the Nandisco squad, I've got seniority. H how is that possible? Ah, right. You're the girl from another world. <laughs> Here's the deal. Nandisco B here ended the Lizard War, but it's actually the successor of the Nandisco. Rui was the operator of the original Nandisco, and I was a member of the Astia Velis. I see. So I suppose you do have seniority over me. Yep, you can lean on me. Just think of me as... Think, just think of me as your senpai. No, you didn't exactly seem at my best yesterday. That was that was pretty embarrassing, actually. It reminds me, that Agido guy who fought alongside us yesterday. Captain Rui seemed to know him. Does that mean he was from on the original Nandisco? Uh, yeah. Were you two seeing each other? No, 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 it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. It's just one of our squadron had a crush on him, and we made fun of him, made fun of her for having the crush, but he was actually seeing the captain, who is the adoptive mother of Ruri. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry I didn't mean to pry. I you shouldn't be worrying about this, newbie. He worth dying, your partner in crime. I gotta feel her in on the Nandisco's background, too. He's over at the Ayoto factory. Ayoto factory? Like the Sinfuji heavy industry the Ayoto factory? Yeah, she's finishing her, visiting her boyfriend. Boyfriend? Are you kidding me? Man, AI has really come a long way. That's a difficult question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> her boyfriend is gay. Got it. Yes, well... What's the problem, Gain? You're looking rather puzzled. I didn't think any super AI could express such complicated emotions. What's going on over here? Let me in! And who might they be? I'll introduce you. These are my allies, the divers and bombers of the Brave Express Corps. We're all combiners and we form up into an even bigger robot that kicks ten kinds of butt. Wait a minute, Gain. Don't you think you're cutting the introductions a little short? He's got no choice. There are three bombers and four divers. That's seven introductions he has to make. I have no idea how your voices compare to each other, because I haven't seen my Gain yet. It's on my to-watch list. Come on! This is the first time we've ever had a guest like her. You've got to do it right. Yeah, I can- I demand a redo. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me start over. These are my allies. 
Leo Bomber, Dino Bomber, Bird Bomber, Fire Diver, Police Diver, Jet Diver, and Drill Diver. That was way too fast. Nice to meet you all. So that was Leo, Dino, and Bird Bombers, and over here we have Fire Police, Jet, and Drill Driver. Drivers. Wow, she even got our teams right. I'm impressed. She remembered all our names at once. My AI boasts features that can hold their own against all of your super AI. Did you say AI? I mean, you're a robot? My name is Nine. I'm employed by Sis. Actually, you probably know her as Inshin Shitose Kisaragi. I can't believe it. She looks like a human. I will pose this question to all of you. What is the difference between AI and humans? What? You're putting us on the spot here. My initial reaction is... We're about 20 stories tall, made of metal. Ah, this must be what Gain looks so concerned about. Indeed it is. No answers, please. We were built for fighting, not trivia questions. I know there's a difference between us, but I can't explain what it is or where it comes from. However, if the Blade Scorch robots were built solely for the purpose of fighting, there would be no need to load it with an efficient, rational super AI. I posit you are self-aware because humans need you to have something more than simple autonomy. Ah, it's getting more complicated. My head hurts. We're, we're self-aware, yes, but I, I never really thought of that. Would this be a better question for Mido or Hamada or Mr. Osaka? I now want like a side epilogue thing with like Nine and the Takikomas from Ghost in the Shell standalone complex trying to have a philosophical discussion with the Takikomas being just such silly Looney Tunes. That like as she continues her spiel, all the color pops out of each one, and they kind of fall, and they kind of fall apart. Bird Bomber's right. I think you get a better answer if you ask the people who built us. I want to record everyone's answers. Ooh, she's tough. Please state your answers. Nine. I don't know if this will answer. I don't know if this answer will satisfy your curiosity or not. But I'm thankful that I was granted con granted consciousness for one reason, which is. That I understand what justice is. Justice! Justice, I see. I should introduce you to the characters from... Um, Space Patrol Luluko, then. Oh yeah, I know what he means. Me too. A sense of justice is the most important part of our super AIs. Justice, the right thing. And you all have the ability to find that for yourselves. Does that help you at all? I'm not sure yet. Meanwhile... Sorry, Maito. Shopping with someone else must be really boring. Don't sweat, Shitose. Walking around town like this clears my head. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, you're the CEO of a company and you're walking around town without any SP. You're the richest person in the world, right? Fortune is what it is. I inherited the title from my parents. And where are they? They died in an accident about three years ago. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I made peace with it. In my head, at least. But you should know I'm not just a puppet or anything. Every department in the Sinpuji Concern has been booming since they took control. We're boasting 200% growth year over year. And your business skills are exactly what I need right now. Think you can help me out? If you need help shopping, I'd be glad to. Great, I need you to help pick, help me pick out presents for Soji and Tatsu. Now they found a job, well, sort of, I want to get them some, get something to thank them for all they've done. This is my two cents, but shouldn't Soji help you pick out a gift for Mr. Shin, 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 Shin I thought about that, but... Tose... I don't know. Soji hasn't been himself lately. He's just kind of quiet. He didn't really react when I said we should join the Nandisco squad. I'm not sure about with the present, is that it? Yeah. You've been only in this world for 10 days. You've had a lot to, to process a lot in that time. Are you holding up all, all right, Chitose? Hmm, me? I'm just trying to stay focused on the tasks at hand. It doesn't leave a lot of time for worrying. That's probably for the best. Thanks for asking, Maito. Sure, let's go find their present. Is there anything particular that they like? Yep, they both got a sweet tooth. What's their weakness? Cakes, candies, or perhaps... Japanese snacks. If there's red bean paste in it, then they're happy. Well, in that case, I'd suggest a shop up ahead. 
I'm assuming Sally is a bit major supporting character in Mike Gain. Possibly the love interest for, uh, protagonist. What the? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. What could help to overhear your conversation? I work a shift there, at Rising Sun. I can't say no to an employee's recommendation. You know, you look familiar for some reason. Oh, it's you. You're the one. You're the one. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're all right. All thanks to you. Yes, you were living pizzas, and you're working at the at, and you are working at Japanese sweet shop today. There should be like one more word there. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be grilling up uh, octopus balls, or I like, guess that'd be uh. That's a, I forget something. Taiyaki, I think. Yeah, Taiyaki. Wow, that's quite the work ethic. Thank you. So I get to ask you ask your name this time? Maito. Maito Senpuji. What? The, the Maito Senpuji? Why does Senpuji as CEO of the Senpuji's concern? Well, right now I'm just looking to buy some snacks. Well, Maito, watch out. She's looking right at you. Aren't you afraid she'll find out you're leading the Brave Express Corps? It's okay. I'm pretty certain we can trust her. Even though you just met her, it's just a hunch, but I think we'll be fine. If Lex sees a supporting character and romantic interest from my TV show or something. Right this way, Maito. After you, Sally. Aww. Random ninja wandering the streets of Tokyo. What the heck? This isn't Ninja Slayer from animation. Ninjas? Are they filming something here? You're Maito Senpuji, are you not? Huh? Maito Senpuji, CEO of the Senpuji Concern. Why did you refuse to fund our plan? You must be Shogun Mifune's underlings. We are Sen Shogun, Mifune's eyes and Shogun Mifune's eyes and ears. We are the Shadow Army. I offer only what, Maito Senpuji? Join us. Never! I know exactly what Shogun Mifune wants. There's no way I could ever help an organization as vile as yours. Not in a million years! In that case, we have a backup plan. We'll kidnap you and demand ransom. Are you insane? In the middle of town? In front of all these witnesses? Reason's the one thing they won't listen to, Shitose. Take Sally and get out of here! You know, you clowns are lucky that we're not in Hayate the Combat Butler, because then you get your butt kicks and butt kick and look really stupid at the same time. At that, or rather, I should say, you'll get your butt kicked and look really stupid at the same time. And instead, and instead, you will get your butt kicked and then and look really stupid. Your butt kick after looking really stupid in public. What do you mean we look really stupid in public? Cut to the murmuring of the various passers-by going, What's with the costumes? Are these some kind of cosplayers? I didn't think this was Akihabara. But, don't worry, I can take these too. Maito! I'll swing by the shop for a snack when I'm done. I'll be waiting! Alright you two, let's do this! You little punk! Fighting off more than you can chew. Hey, that's my line. Bring it. Ugh! How is he so strong? I should have got time to chat. The police are already on their way. It's even got a western style police siren. Yeah! We've got no choice. Run! They're gone. Are you okay? Don't worry, you have Sochi Shoichiro Oizawa, the finest inspector in the in Novell, Tokyo City, on your case. Thank you, Inspector. Don't mention, hey, wait, aren't you Maito Senpuji? Evacuate all citizens in the immediate vicinity. Sorry? They're coming back. And they're bringing giant robots. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.